Hi everyone! I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. I'm actually really confused because Dan's supposed to be here with me. Dan? Dan, where are you? Hello? Where have you been? You're a bit late. Uh, I've been looking for my other shoe and I can't find it. Well, we were by the door yesterday. Have you looked there? I know, but only one's there and I just don't know where the other one is. Funny enough, I've been looking for a few things this morning. I was looking for a frying pan, remember when I was going to make pancakes? Yeah. And I was also looking for that straw hat, you know my hat? But nothing seems to be where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I've noticed all around the house today that everything just seems a little bit odd. Mm -hmm. Things are missing. And I think we might need some of your help. I think we need to do some searching around this house. And I think that you guys can give us a bit of a hand in this. So if you guys spot anything that is a little bit odd, out of place, you need to let us know. Yeah, shout out as loud as you can if you spot one of the items on the list along the bottom. The first one in your house to spot one of those things wins. Or even you could put it in the comments. Yeah, you could write it in the comments, especially if you're on your own and you've got no proof that you actually found it first. So fill that chat, let us know what items are standing out. So here's the 10 items you're looking for. One. A straw hat. Two. My other shoe. Three. Right hand. Four. The ever so elusive toilet roll. Five. One of Eliza's favorite toys, it's a Noah's Ark set. Six. Monkeys love them, you love them. Bunch of bananas. Seven. I've got a box of Weetabix. Eight. And the yellow bowl. Nine. Some tea bags. Ten. Your eggs are but real. <laughs> but we warn you, nothing is where it should be. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Anything yet? No. Nope. You guys? <sighs> better than a way better job than we have. Probably, but we're gonna have to keep looking. Oh, really? Yep, yeah, off you go. All right. This reminds me of another one of my favorite Bible heroes Elijah. He was born a prophet, which means he was an amazing teacher. But he also knew the word of God, and he was able to hear from God directly. He often had long conversations with God, where God told him things about the future of the country that he was living in. One day, God told him to go out and go to a mountain and look for him, because he wanted to tell him something. So that's what he did. He looked, and he waited, and he waited. And then along came a powerful wind. It was so powerful, it actually broke rocks apart. Wow, God is powerful. So he must have come in the wind, right? Wrong, God wasn't in the wind. Next came a strong earthquake, and it was so strong that it shook the whole land. Wow, God is strong too. He must have come in the earthquake, right? Wrong. God wasn't in the earthquake. Next came a huge fire. And fire is one of the toughest things ever, right? But guess what? God wasn't in the fire either. So where was he? When was he gonna come and speak to our hero, Elijah? And next came a whisper. A still, small voice. And that is where God was. You see, sometimes we think that God is only in the big, powerful, amazing things. And even though he is big, amazing and powerful, God also wants to be super close. Just like the items in our house, mm -hmm. God isn't always where you expect him to be. 
Yeah, God's not just in church, although he is there. And he's not just in big cathedrals, he's there too. He's actually in our everyday lives. He's here with us now, and he's there with you too. He's with you when you're feeling a little sad. He's with you while you're playing outside in the garden having fun. He's even there with you while you eat your dinner. And not only is he there, but he actually wants to speak with us. Last week we were learning about how God wants to be our friend. But how could you be someone's friend or family if you don't want to talk? And that's why we pray to God. Praying is a kind of talking. And that's our part of the conversation. And it's also good to listen. God speaks through the Bible, through other people, through music and songs, and in loads of other ways. And having conversations with God was Elijah's favourite thing to do. And that's our hero this week. Up on the church website, you'll find all our resources for Elijah. There's worksheets, colouring, videos, and loads more. So go check it out. And there's also a memory verse. And that's what we're going to leave with today. This verse is from the book called Zephaniah, and it's chapter 3, verse 7. The, the Lord your God, God is with you, a, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness, and he will quiet you with his love. Bye guys! See you later guys! Bye! <laughs>